Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Cynthia Smith. This is the Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast. And today's subject is setting our intentions under the Hunter's Moon Healing Meditation. The Hunter's Moon is so called because. It's a time for hunting and and gathering and preparing for the winter. Um, during a full moon, when the leaves have fallen off the trees, you know, in the fall, it's easier to see the game. And Native Americans would do the dance with the deer and they would honor the deer for and thank the deer for um, giving its body so that the uh, family, the hunter could he, he feed his or her family, and um, in the hunter's moon, it's a really bright moon in many areas, and so it's like illumination. Like, what do you want to see? What do you want to create for the um, for the next month? You know, what do you want to plan for, for the holiday season? Um, you know, there's correlation between the full moon and the rising of the tides, full moon and a woman's menstrual cycle. But moreover, having a healing full moon meditation is important just for so many of us who need to create balance between the yin and the yang of our lives. The moon is yin. Nighttime is yin. Receiving is yin. Cool, moist is yin. Rest, recovery is yin. So these are all the yin energies that help us to balance all the yang energy. The yang energies is sun, sunlight, our hollow organs, it's movement, it's doing. And many of us are so caught up in the doing that we don't take advantage to restore our cup, to fill our cup and really rest so that we can continue to go out and do the things that we do. Um, so honoring the yin part of us, honoring the sacred feminine is essential for balance. I believe so anyway. And in this hunter's moon healing meditation, it's basically a mock-up meditation. We're going to ask the universe for what we want. And we're going to set our intention that this is what we want to manifest. This is what we want to receive. Yin is receiving. Right? Yin is an innie. Yang is an outie. So if we receive, we set our intention to heal, to heal our vessel, to ask for what we need, and then expect the universe to provide it for us. The universe is conspiring to support us. And if it's for our highest good, it will show up. So if you would take a deep breath and find a comfortable seat, we'll get started in just a moment. If it's cool where you are, grab a blanket or a warm drink. Nestle in. This is going to be a lovely ride. Welcome back. All right, everyone, take a deep breath. And get here. Say hello to your physical body. Thank your physical body for taking care of you, for putting up with you, for allowing you to have this spiritual experience in human form. 
thank your physical body for taking you to work, for having relationships, taking care of your kids. Thank your physical body when you've worked too hard or perhaps injured it or maybe not fed it the healthiest foods. We're going to do a little psychic refresh. If we set our intention for the hunter's moon, for the month ahead, and if you listen to this and re-listen, you can really begin to hone in and heal yourself on the deepest levels while you're at rest and have that deep, profound, yummy sleep. So as you allow yourself to get comfortable where you lay, Take a few more deep cleansing breaths and allow your body to get heavy. Allow yourself to just sink into the chair or into the bed, into the couch. Allow yourself to get heavy, relaxed. And allow yourself to feel supported. Just like the chair, the couch beneath you is supporting you. Allow the universe to support you. To cradle you in this moment. Take a deep, deep breath. And let it go. And imagine that you are wrapped in the perfect blanket for you. It's the perfect warmth or coolness. And you feel swaddled, comfortable, taken in, secure. And be in this comfortable place. And we're going to count down from five to one. Five, deepening that sense of relaxation. Four, deeper down, deeper down, deeper down. Three, doubling that sense of relaxation, allowing your body to get heavy where you lay. Two, more and more relaxed, more and more comfortable, and one, asleep. Down, 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 deeper down, deeper down. It's more comfortable to have your eyes closed with those heavy eyelids than to try to hold them open. Deeper down, deeper down. In this deep, relaxed state, you have access to your subconscious mind. Subconscious mind that is always there to protect you and will always tell you the truth. In your mind's eye, be a point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. Be in the center of your head as if you're looking at the world from behind your closed eyes. This is your sixth chakra, the center of head, your knowingness. Be in the center of your head and in your mind's eye from the center of your head. Imagine a bubble around you in all directions. 
This is your aura or your energy field. And let it be at least three feet in all directions. Three feet over your head, three feet below you, three feet to either side, in front, and three feet behind you. Be in the center of your head in your bubble. And you can expand or contract the bubble to fit your particular needs in this moment. And give your bubble a color, any color but white or black. Therefore, if fuchsia, fuchsia is your color of choice, go with fuchsia. If you'd rather go with a fern green, do that. Whatever color feels good on your physical body right now. And lastly, create a grounding cord, a tube of light, the same color as your bubble, that goes from your hips, the base of your spine, all the way down through the bed or the couch that you're laying on, you're sitting on, through the floors of the building you're in, through all the layers of the earth, all the way down to the center of the earth, which we will imagine is neutral energy. And go ahead and start sending energy down your grounding cord that you're ready to let go of. It's like taking out the trash. You don't have to look at every piece. You can just send it away. And be in the center of your head, grounded in your bubble. And on the outside of your bubble, I'd like you to imagine that you are walking up to a forest clearing. And a clearing is a, in a place in a forest where the trees are not as dense. Or maybe there's a lake or a pond or a river running through that part of the forest. And be in that forest on a full moon night, full hunter's moon night. And see that full moon hanging in the distance. When it first comes up, it can be really huge, brilliant. You could almost see the textures on the surface of the moon with your naked eye. And imagine that you're standing in that clearing, looking up at that hunter's moon, that full moon, and allow yourself to be in awe, be inspired, even a little dumbstruck at the magnificence, at the profound beauty of a full moon, full moon in a forest clearing. And imagine that that clearing is, is peaceful, tranquil, comforting, safe, secure. And as you look up, at Mother Moon, you're drawn into her magnetic presence. And you are drawn to rest, to receive, to recover. As you gaze up at the hunter's moon, that full 
gold moon in its brilliance. You can feel the magnetic pull. You can feel the magic in the quiet night air. And with a whisper, you begin to ask for what you need. You begin to set your intention for the following 30 days until the next full moon. As you lay your soul bare, connecting with Mother Moon, that yin energy, honoring the sacred fe feminine, honoring the storytellers, their ancestors. Imagine in your mind's eye what healings you are looking for or forward to in the next 30 days. Do you need healing in your physical body? Do you need healing in your finances, in your relationships? Do you need a nudge in your business? Do you need a windfall? Gratitude. What is it you are asking the universe for? What do you want to stock up on for the winter? Goodwill, clarity, peace, insightfulness, As you dance under the full moon in your mind's eye, in this peaceful, tranquil healing meditation, imagine that the universe is listening, is hearing you, is preparing to fill your order. And just like it is in the female energy to receive, imagine that you are holding your hands open, palms up to receive, to receive your blessings, to receive your healings, to receive your next step, your wisdom, to receive the love that you are yearning for. What is it that you would like to create in this next 30 days or so? Who do you need to heal? What love do you need to share? Imagine this beautiful energy exchange of all the highest qualities, the positive qualities, love, caring, compassion, prosperity, abundance, body level healing. Whatever it is, wherever you are, whatever you are asking the universe to help you with, imagine that it is coming through Imagine that it is landing in your open hands. Allow yourself to receive. Honoring those feminine parts of you. Even if you're in a male body, we have both male and female energy. Honoring, refreshing, updating our female energy in this full moon, harvest moon, healing meditation.
feel the change in the gravitational tide as you stand beneath this full moon. And quietly listening for the songs, for the voice of wisdom, the stories from your ancestors, your own inner voice that you can hear when you're quiet and open to receive. Allow yourself to receive and imagine that it can be easy. As you dance in the moonlight in your mind's eye, can you send your wishes to the universe? See them coming back to you better than you could imagine. And know that you are that powerful, that strong, that wonderful, that deserving. And before we come back to our bodies in your mind's eye, look up to Mother Moon and thank her. Thank her for the wisdom, thank her for the support. Thank her for the rest and the recovery. Thank her for the balance. And honor yourself enough to take time to rest. So when you've asked the moon, set your intention for the next 30 days. Send it off with gratitude, like it's already appearing for you. And know that you can replay this meditation and edit, update, or change your intention however much you like. And then this final moment, standing under the moonlight, Imagine that you can feel the profound interconnectedness that we have with all other beings on the planet. You meditating and setting your intentions to the full harvest, the full hunter's moon. Your vibration is reaching someone halfway across the globe. You are that powerful and we are all that connected. So in a moment, I'm gonna count back up from one to five, at which point I'll say, open your eyes. And you'll come back to the room refreshed, on purpose, clear, and ready to take on the rest of your day. One, might start wiggling your fingers or toes. Two, may start shifting in your chair. Three, maybe you take a deep breath. Four, maybe you do some head circles. And five, eyes open, wake up. Hello, hello, hello. Back to the room. Thank you very much for spending this time with me and sending your intentions up to the Supreme Being. If you like this podcast, please like it and subscribe. Please tell your friend 
If you would like a session with me, reach out at hello at drcynthiasmith.com or go to the website drcynthiasmith.com and you can connect to me there. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Namaste.